Hello everybody, this is the Goofsome Fox coming at you with a 400 cost quick match here in the Dom Resonance TB. The TB standing for Thunderbolts, and this is going to be a match on Ravine here. And the Dom Resonance is quite the interesting mobile suit. I got it while trying to pull for the Engage Zero Incom Equip type. Which, even though I didn't get that suit, I did get a bunch of other suits that I have been really wanting to try out for a long time now. The Dom Resonance TB here being uh, no exception to that. And yeah, this is a very unique suit for its cost. It is a 400 cost raid. Uh, currently, it does not have a level 2. I would be very interested to see how this suit does operate at 450 though. Uh, but the Dom Resonance here... Uh, it's just a very unique mobile suit in the way it's designed. Even just outside of its native cost, I really don't feel like there's any other suit in the game that is currently like it. Uh, just in the way of like the skills they gave it and the way it like functions overall. And I'll make sure to get into that throughout this video here. And well, I'm going to start off with the weapons because the weapons are probably the a uh, more basic thing about this suit for me to talk about. You do have a really good um, arsenal equipped with this suit. And by that I mean they really gave you a full arsenal to work with here with the Dom Resonance. Your main primary weapon is going to be a bazooka that is currently exclusive to this suit here. And it's a pretty standard bazooka weapon. You fire it, you get an instant stun. Uh, yeah, really nothing too special to say about it on its own. It does pair with one of the suit's skills, which I will get into when I uh, get to that segment. But overall, a pretty uh, basic rocket launcher weapon. You also have your own version of the Dom Heat Saber as your main melee weapon. And this does come with its own unique melee pattern. As you can see with the movement of this mobile suit here, uh, you're really not going to have the same melee pattern that the Doms tend to get. With the, like, you know, bringing both fists down while holding the saber. Instead, you have a, si a sliding side slash. And then for your neutral, you do have a nice poke able to jab at targets. Uh, what is similar to the Dom, though, or at least some of the Dom variants, is that you do have the flash on the chest. This is a pretty good, uh, you know, little thing. If you, it doesn't do damage, so I don't really, really want to call it a weapon, per se. But it is a nice little stunning tool if you are able to land it on a target. I've mentioned in previous videos, I do find these weapons to be... Oh, here, I got just called it a weapon, even though it's not really a weapon. But I do find this to be kind of inconsistent sometimes in that uh, sometimes the flash will register and sometimes it won't. It really just kind of depends on where you're standing in relation to the mobile suit you're trying to stun. Uh, but overall it is reliable. You can use it while boosting. And if somebody is chasing after you or you need to pursue somebody, you can use this if somebody is facing directly at you. So it's also just a nice um, way to keep other enemies from... Uh, possibly trying to run up on you. And speaking of stuns, you also have a Sturmfrost as a sub-weapon. And I believe this Sturmfrost, it's, it operates like all the other Sturmfrosts, except this one is in the right hand, which is really nice given the view that you are when using uh, any mobile suits in this game. But I think this one actually readies up a little quicker than the standard Sturmfrost weapon, so that is a really nice feature of that. You actually have an MMP-80 machine gun, this is going to be the grenade launcher variant, you have that as a sub-weapon. Which, I always like it when mobile suits have sub-weapon machine guns, especially when it comes to the Xeon ones, as they typically don't tend to have uh, head Vulcans. And even though you can't boost while using this, it is again just a nice option to have. Uh, maybe if you're waiting for your weapons to reload, or you're waiting for one of your stun weapons to ready up again, it does, you know, give you something to do some constant damage in between that. So I always appreciate uh, weapons like this. Also, submachine guns also... Uh, I think it's already a submachine gun. Sub-weapon submachine guns. Uh, they also just tend to be really decent weapons overall, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, really cool for that. And since you do have the grenade launcher variants of this machine gun, you also get the grenade launcher as well, which is going to be another instant stun for this suit. And then finally, you have a shield on the left arm. This is going to be a... A uh, pretty small spiked shield. Looks like it was a Zaku shoulder. Uh, could just be a Zaku spike shield, honestly. But, yep, you get one of those with this suit as well. Which actually does seem like a rarity. I don't think, really, the Doms get shields. 
I don't know if any of the Doms, aside from this one, actually have a shield. But you do have this little shield here, which does have its own skill attached to it, and just provides a little extra defense. So again, a pretty nice thing to have with this suit here. Now the thing that really starts to get interesting is going to be with the skills that they gave you. Uh, starting with the shield, because this does want to be the first thing I talk about here. You not only have shield tackle, but you also have enhanced tackle level 4 as well. So your tackles, if your shield is up, are going to do, you know, a lot of extra damage. So, uh, just something I wanted to mention there as a pretty cool thing for this suit here. You also have waist special cushioning, which... I want to bring this up because you actually do not have any form of cushioning for the legs. And one of the things I've heard about this suit is that it's very easy to break the legs. Uh, very much like my legs are broken right now. And yeah, this is something I have experienced with this suit. Breaking the legs is very easy and sometimes annoying. It kind of depends on how the match is going. Uh, I've had it happen a couple times, but most of the time my teammates were doing really well and were able to defend me. So it really wasn't too much of a hassle. I was able to repair in the end, so uh, pretty nice, um, you know, depending on, again, how your teammates are going. But yeah, definitely want to put some leg parts on this, you know, for the part slots, so a uh, little recommendation there. Now the next two skills that I want to get into here are going to be Auxiliary Power, and this is a skill where if you're at 1000 or more HP, if an attack will destroy you, um, you'll survive with a set amount of HP, and it'll also reduce the damage you take. It also says it nullifies reactions except for cumulative damage stagger, but only at the point of skill activation, so... Uh, when this activates, it seems like you won't get stunned if you get hit by an instant stunning weapon. I think it might apply to melee as well, but yeah, this was already the first interesting thing to see on the suit. Uh, I do really like this skill, and I think at this cost, for the most part, it does tend to activate, so uh, really no complaints there. And then next you have High Speed Mobile Shooting. This is when you press the touchpad, it activates this ability, and it enables you to fire during high speed movement. And I think this only applies to the bazooka. Now this was a Zenaju skill, so it's very weird to see that, um, you know, skill from a 4 star 700 make its way down to a 400 cost raid. But this is a very nifty thing to have as if you hit somebody with the bazooka while this is activated, it will actually go through uh, maneuver armor from what I have been able to see. I believe I was chasing an enemy raid, it may have been a pixie? I don't think it was a pixie, I think it may have been something else. I know it was something that does have maneuver armor, and it did look like that I was able to get the stun off on him. Uh, maybe I'm just completely wrong, and the suit I was attacking was a raid that didn't have maneuver armor, but I feel like most of them have it, so... Uh, might be... Uh, I think that is a feature of that skill here. It doesn't really say uh, on the skill here itself if it does this, but I believe it is supposed to have that factor to it. And hey, timeout mission over. We'll go over the... Um, win stats here before I give my final thoughts on the Dom Resonance here. And, oh, looks like our, is it the Desert Zaku Desert Rommel? Yep, that's going to be that suit there. Did really well. And also did try to double check to make sure I praised them because they did do really well. And second place overall with 5 kills and 2 loss. Not too shabby there. And yeah, that's going to be it for the match there in the Dom Resonance. And yeah, overall, just a very interesting suit to play. Um, despite the things I heard about it beforehand, I uh, actually was able to do really well with it, and I have actually have enjoyed playing it. Uh, so yeah, really fun suit overall. I, I actually have been really liking the suit, so I do want to try to get this out more and maybe play it on a couple more maps, uh, if I get the chance to. Even got a match on this on Military Port as well, and that was also very interesting, so... Yeah, I really want to use this suit a lot more, and, uh, yeah, weird suit, but surprisingly really fun. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this video here. Comment down below what you think about the Dom Resonance TB. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and with that, I will see you all in the next one. Later.